Hey guys, uh, doing a quick um, ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard uh, startup slash install tutorial. Um, I've noticed a lot of people are having problems getting a display with this board and they're having all sorts of issues. So I thought it'd be a good idea to put out a, a quick, semi-quick tutorial about how to get this thing up and running. Uh, first things first, power supply. Uh, make sure you've got your power supply plugged into the proper slot on the motherboard. You'll see it there, right here. Second thing, RAM. You have two slots. You'll only need one. Make sure you have at least eight gigs of RAM. As of today, 2022, you'll need a minimum of eight gigs of RAM in order to mine. You can do more, you can do uh, two slots. You can do two slots of four or two slots of eight or one slot of eight. doesn't matter which slot it goes in. The board will power up and operate as intended. Second, make sure you have the proper CPU. Uh, if you have any doubts as to which one it is, if you go to ASRock's website and search this board, you'll be able to figure out which ones are compatible with this particular motherboard. Uh, third, make sure you have the proper plug into the CPU power slot. Make sure that this cord is plugged into the back of your power supply labeled CPU. You may have one or two, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's in the proper slot, CPU. And then obviously in the same spot on the motherboard. Uh, third, you will not need these, plug these two Molexes plugged into these two slots unless you are planning on using these uh, these riser slots. If you're not planning on using these riser slots and you're only going to use this 16x slot right here, you will not need these plugged in. This is solely to provide power for all of these slots. This is added power to the motherboard in order to power these risers. Okay. Third, make sure you have a display, proper display. Uh, if you need to, you can get an adapter that will either adapt to some sort of uh some sort of this to make sure that it goes to your display fourth you can do a ethernet or a wi-fi adapter i'd recommend starting out with an ethernet cable just so that you get the computer up and running and it can upload uh you know updated drivers and all that sort of stuff once you get that done you can switch to uh some sort of Wi-Fi adapter. I have had no issues mining with, uh, with Wi-Fi adapters at all whatsoever, none, zero. I've heard people say bad things about them. Oh, don't do it, it's in and out, it's in. No. Do this to start out, get your, your computer up and running. Once you do that, you can add a, a Wi-Fi ad adapter and it should be fine. Uh, third, obviously make sure you have this, this battery here. It should come with one. Uh, if not, I mean, they're cheap enough, throw them in there, it should be fine. Uh, you also have this thing here, the, um, the, um, you know, in case you want to add, uh, um, that style, that newer updated, um, SSD, honestly, you don't need it. If you're mining, you definitely don't need that. I, I use a hard drive. You can use an SSD if you want. They tend to last longer, but it's not necessary. Um, really for, uh, you know, mining um, in any any way, shape or form, not not even just this, you know, uh, ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus. Uh, mining in general, you don't need the best of the best. You know, this CPU costs, you know, 25 to $40 uh, brand new. That's all you need. You don't need the best of the best. You don't need the i5, 7s, 9s. You don't need uh, all the crazy stuff, okay? Keep it simple. These are your SATA ports here. Make sure that, um, make sure you've got your hard drive plugged into the SATA. Make sure it's plugged in here and then powered into your power supply. So you've got power supply, RAM, CPU, Make sure this is plugged in. Make sure your power is plugged into the motherboard properly. Make sure you have this battery. Make sure that your hard drive is plugged or your SSD is plugged into the proper port here. Doesn't matter which one of these, just pick one. Uh, and then again, you don't need these Molexes unless you're planning on mining and using these risers. If you're not, if you're just going with the, the 16 by slot, get rid of this. Ethernet, 
display powered on shouldn't have any issues you got any questions leave in the comments below thanks for watching